this or this. Make sure you do this. For digging projects big or small, make the call to 811. Brought to you by Common Ground Alliance. What if Extendivite really works, but you find that hard to believe and you spend precious time looking for someone to say, just try it. I have my help today because of Extendivite, and if I did not take a leap of faith and try it, well, I would be on disability today. Take one bottle of Extendivite as suggested for 60 days to find out for yourself. No need to stop any other meds you may be on. You know by now that they are not working for you. Before the 60 days are up, I know that you will feel Extendivite working for you and will want to take another bottle. Life is too short. Get your Extendivite today. Extendivite is available in capsule or liquid form for just $69.95 for a two-month supply. To get started, call 1-877-928-8822. That's 1-877-928-8822. Or visit heartdrop.com. Extend your life with Extendovite. Are you a business owner? Are you confused by the complexity of the tax laws? We can help. I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been helping business owners solve tax problems for over 40 years. My book, The Small Business Tax Guide, shows proven ways to avoid all the common business tax problems. Don't risk your business. Go to danpilla.com to order your copy. That's danpilla.com. Order now and get a free 15-minute call directly with me, a $99 value. Go to danpilla.com. That's danpilla.com. Today is special because it is National Black Cat Day. These dark creatures of the night black cat. A black cat. captivate our imaginations around Halloween time. A black cat went past us. What appears to be a black cat. Your black cat is crossing my path. He is one hep black cat. Let's get this show started. All Showtime. right. All right. All right. <laughs> morning there, Doc Bryce. Good morning. How's every little thing in Doc Land? Well, my sinuses have changed my voice. Ooh, I see. Yes, it's made me drop down an octave. Well, it could be worse. Could make you go the other way. Well, I don't want to sound like I'm going through puberty again, but I mean, if it, uh, if the sinuses want to keep my voice like this, I'm down with that. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you. Oh, yeah, I'd be like that, yeah. Hello. Hello, <laughs> George. Hello, darling. So, I can start uh, singing to die. Yeah, Conway Twitty. That's what I was about to say. I go hit the karaoke circuit and start singing like Conway Twitty. Push Conway off the shelf, baby. <laughs> Darius Rucker would be proud of you. Boy, bar sales are going to go up tonight. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I ain't going home alone. Mm-mm. All right, let's see. What do we got going on in the world? Anything you want to talk about locally? Oh, locally? Oh, well, uh, there was a meeting last night. Oh, yeah? What happened at said meeting? I don't know. I didn't go because I fell asleep. Oh, I see. Well, we had the workshop, yes. which was to work on the budget and stuff. Sure. And then at the last minute, they decided to throw in a special meeting. Oh, I love special meetings. We just had a special meeting on Tuesday. Well, this was an extra special meeting. It was extra, huh? extra special. You, I tell you, you what, in there, a little, yeah. little extra meet, spe- anyway. And I'm like, how many council meetings can we have in one month? Well, they're going to show us. <laughs> I got you. So, um, I don't know what happened at the meeting. I, I got home, and, and the meeting started at 530, and some things happened at the house. The next thing I know, <laughs> done, huh? <laughs> yep. I don't know, man. I was wore out yesterday. I actually went home and went to bed early, too. So. I know, well, it's been a long week, and it's been a long day. And it's been a long month. <laughs> it's been a long month, dude. Ugh. Just being on the road has not helped us at all, either. Well, you you get to lay off tonight. Yeah. Ish. Kind of. Yeah, because Hot Springs High School is coming to town. They're going to be playing Camden Fairview yeah, tonight play, yep. in town. In town, so it's a home game for Camden Fairview. Which means I get to hang out with Jacobus. Yay! Which, uh, you know, I'm not going to be sitting in the stands. Yeah, well, I would hope not. No, <laughs> you know who you are. Huh? I'm going to be up in the press box. Right? And then in the third quarter, if I can, I might sneak Mikey up there in the press box. Oh, well, there you go. Show off a little bit, you know. Be like, a- absolutely. Welcome hey. to the birdhouse, hey, ladies and you, gentlemen. This you, is my domain. You want to see what, what what it's like to be a real radio DJ? <laughs> 
Yeah, considering his mom's a radio DJ. Yeah, right. You know, because his mom can't take him up in the press box. Absolutely not. No, no. girls allowed. Mm-mm. And, and his mom can't just throw him on the air. No. No. He, she has to get a. She has rules. See, it's good to be the king because uh-huh. uh, you have to run that through the program director. <laughs> hey, yeah. Let you me know. know how that works. Yeah. For can you. can I can I let my son be on the air with me today? See, I have to run oh, that through the PD. Sure. And uh, I know the PD personally. You know, there you go. <laughs> I mean, we. We eat at the same places, drink the same things. I mean, we're pretty well connected. You water your horses out the same trough, you might say. You could say that. Yes. So I feel pretty confident that even without asking the PD. You, you, you going to go out on that limb? Yeah. Well, do you ask the PD? <laughs> yeah, sure. See? Yeah. <laughs> We had that conversation a long time ago. So, so there's things that we can do on this side of the river. That Absolutely, they can't do on that side yes. of the river. And then, uh, as a special treat, uh, dragging his butt out to uh, Magic Springs. Well, and you know, there there's some other things that, that you got. You guys can go out to uh, White Oak State Park on Saturday. Yeah, we'll be busy on Saturday from six to eight p.m. But Halloween in the park. Go, yeah. Halloween in the park, that's uh, kids 12 and younger. I was going to say, you know, he's 15 now, so. Tell, tell him to, to squat. You know what? That's what I do. I just tell him, uh, high pitch your voice because his voice has dropped. Tell him to uh, change the pitch of his voice back up there. And uh, just say you're 12. I'm only three and a half years old. Because when I told him when we were trying to get into rehab during COVID. Right. And they wouldn't let anybody in under 18. And he's wearing a mask. And so he's like, well, they're, they're going to know I'm not 18. And, and, oh, actually, he went like, they're going to know I'm not 18. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, dude, your voice is dropped. You're wearing a mask. They don't know. Just tell them uh, you're going to college. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I'm, my name's Doogie. Okay, <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. So, so sure enough, we went through uh, the front desk, and they asked him how old he was. He goes, 18. <laughs> <laughs> And they were like, well, come on through. Well, come on in. <laughs> you know, you're, you're mighty tall for your age. And then he's looking at me wide-eyed over, over his mask. He's like, that actually worked. I said, yeah, don't get any ideas, yeah. though. Don't be sitting they, there that didn't work at the liquor store. I was going to say, don't be sitting there going, yeah, I like a pack of cigarettes and uh, some booze. <laughs> you know, I think I'll need a carton of Marlboros and a case of Coors. Okay? <laughs> All sorts of fun stuff going on this weekend for you guys and gals. Uh, let's see. Where do we start? Well, the Camden Fairview Cardinals are going to be taking on Hot Springs tonight here at home. Yep. Mikey's um, marching on the field. Let's see. And you can't miss him either. If you see him out on the field on the Hot Springs side, right? he's the only one playing a snare. Well, yeah, that, that makes him pretty easy <laughs> to uh, single out. So. <laughs> Correct me. What would you think of a solo act? You were the solo. <laughs> Dude, you walked onto the field solo. <laughs> so, yeah, if you see a, if you see a blonde-headed kid out there playing yeah, Everybody snare. go nuts when, when, when you see Mikey out on the field. Tonight. Oh, God, yeah, just yell out Mikey. Oh, that would be so great. Because, see, he doesn't like going by Mikey anymore. He likes right? to go by Michael. Michael, yeah. With everybody else. Boy, I was waiting for that to happen. Yeah, so, I mean, with, with us, though, it's acceptable. Like sure. you, me, you know, family, friends, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, what's he going to do? <laughs> that, that's different. I'll smack him on his the, little head. But I if the care. Camden side yelled out, Mikey! Mikey! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm telling you, you know, that, that's all we got to do. And you should get out there early and start organizing Oh, people. my gosh, could you, you know, imagine? You with a picture of him on your phone. Could you imagine? Say, when you see this kid, <laughs> do this for me. Could you imagine how red he would be on the phone? Oh, yeah. He would turn Cardinal Red. <laughs> he would go from black and gold to Cardinal Red. Yeah, that would be so funny. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, the Fall Fest at Washtenaw Nursing and Rehab is going on today from 4 to 6. I saw our old friend Mel, and uh, she was getting everything ready for the kiddos today. I told her that I was extremely sorry that I could not make it because I don't have a kid marching in uh, the game tonight here locally, so I get to go to Hazen yeah. with, with Bearden. Yay. So, uh, yeah, actually, I'm I'm looking forward to the game. Uh, Kelly Blair is going to go with me. So, yeah, you'll have uh, a real sports cast. Yes, I know. It's going to be so different. Um, you know, well, I, I figure it, it's the end of the season. About time for me to get – 
a couple of pointers. You know, so I, I'll get Kelly to uh, kind of show me the ropes. That that that's what we'll do. Let's see. They are also doing. Uh, oh, Mercedes Sanchez is going to be performing live at La Loma Grill this evening from five to seven. The new old Opry Live plus a pizza truck over at one twenty five Madison. We know what's at one twenty five Madison. Isn't that the uh, Native Dog Brewery, 125 yeah. Madison? I'm pretty sure that is. They were a great big sponsor for us for the uh, chili cook-off. So, you know, yeah, there you go. There's a plug for them. Uh, looks like we got a couple of garage sales on Saturday. And uh, story time at Jacob's Well Coffee House. They are doing that at 10 a.m. And also Rocket Baseball Camp is from 10 to 3 on Saturday. And the Robert Bob Tolley Estate Auction from 11 to 4. Harmony Grove, FBLA, Light Up the Night, Fun Run. That'll be Saturday. And then on Sunday, 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 the Hallelujah Harvest Remix at 1245 California. That's at Camden Bible Church. They're going to have carnival games, trunk or treat, outdoor movie, horse rides, TV giveaways, uh, free hot dogs, steak cook-off to benefit the Women's Crisis Center, and you can get half off of a plate with the donation of a coat. It is a multi-church event. And then, of course, the White Oak Lake State Park Halloween party from Sat- uh, from 6 to 8 on Saturday. Halloween in the park for kids 12 and younger. The Haunt in Bearden is open Friday and Saturday, today and tomorrow, starting at 7, going until midnight. And then down in Thurs, uh, down in El Dorado, uh, seven thirty on Saturday, and then again on two at two thirty on Sunday. Once upon a mattress at the South Arkansas Art Center. It's a fairy tale musical that is a fun rendition of the Princess and the Pea. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That that's just some of the stuff that's going on around here. If you need any more information, you can go to the Facebook page, Family Fun in Washtenaw County, because that's where I got it all. All right, guys, and gals, it's time for the round table. Brought to you each and every weekday morning by our friends out at St. John's Place in Fort Ice and Washtenaw Nursing and Rehab in Camden. Don't forget about their Fall Fest today, four to six. They are the choice for all of your rehabilitation and long-term care needs, and they provide award-winning short-term therapy services, too. You can reach them by dialing 870-352-2104 or locally at 870-836-4111. We are brought to you in part by our friends out at First Choice Family Care, 476 Hospital Drive in Camden, 870-800-9002. They're now open from 7 to 7 for all your medical needs. Dr. Smith and staff do strive to make every patient feel at home, Go to MyFirstChoiceCare.com, get that new patient packet, then set your wellness visit today, 870-800-9002. OCMC's CDU, addiction's tough, man. Get the help you need, 870-836-1289, 800-232-1289. All calls are confidential. Mitch Lowe's Body Shop, Auto Body and Collision Repair Framework, Glasswork, Refinishing. Accidents happen, so if you put it in the ditch, you better go. Not your mama. At Mitch Lowe's Body Shop. <laughs> 836, uh, yeah, I lost my place. I <laughs> didn't expect that uh, one, did you? No, no, you got me on that one. 837-256. Better call Maria. Not All your right, uh, let's see. We are brought to you in part by Everybody's Antiques down in El Dorado. <laughs> Everybody's Antiques. Um, you know, I, I think they're doing something. I just don't remember exactly what it was that they're doing. I wanted to say that they were uh, doing some sort of a uh, uh, sale. Go to their their uh, Facebook page, Everybody's Antiques, and uh, see what they got going on. Uh, let's see, Stories Floor and Carpet 2004 Lorraine in El Dorado doing more than just flooring. They invite you to visualize. Visualize. You can check out that new flooring project online at storiesfloor.com. Call 870-862-9446. And by Cabin Rural Health, don't wait, vaccinate. Cabin Rural Health, 870-798-4299. We will be right back. Good morning, South Arkansas. It's time for the Washtenaw River Report for Friday, October 27th. In Camden, the current gauge reading is 6.65 feet. Argadelphia, currently at 4.18 feet. At Thatcher Lock and Dam, the current gauge reading is 77.59 feet. 
And at Morro Bay State Park, the gauge is still steady at 64 feet. Currently, no river warnings in effect, but here's something interesting. One Arkansas history fact no local to the state wants the world to forget is that it was the spot where the largest American diamond was found. Named Uncle Sam, the diamond was an impressive 40.23 carats and was found in Crater of Diamond State Park. Though the diamond was mostly clear, minerals in the ground during its formation caused it to have a pink hue. Unsurprisingly, this diamond caused a boom of hopeful miners in the area. Stay up to date with your current river conditions right here every weekday morning. It's time to check the Radio Works South Arkansas Community Bulletin Board. Elliott Baptist Church is hosting a fall festival on Sunday, October 29th at 5 p.m. There will be food, fun, fellowship, games, and more. Everyone is welcome. Elliott Baptist is located at 4189 Highway 376 South. Call 231-6411 for more information. Don't miss the fall festival at Elliott Baptist Church, Sunday, October 29th at 5 p.m. Pretty, pretty shot at rain throughout the day. It's going to be partly sunny with temperatures reaching near 82. Tonight, 30% chance at more rain, mostly cloudy, overnight low near 65. For Saturday, 50% chance at rain, mostly cloudy and 77. Then on Saturday night, 20% chance at rain, mostly cloudy, overnight low near 65. Sunday, another 50% chance at rain, partly sunny and 74. Out of the Radio Works Weather Center, I'm JJ. All right, we are back in the studios. Well, technically, we never really left. But, uh, you know, from our county extension office, Tiffany Haas. Good morning. Good morning, Tiffany. How are you? Oh, wonderful. And you? Uh, well, you know, it's just another day in paradise for us. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Carrie couldn't make it today? No, she's celebrating her anniversary. Oh, well, You're happy supposed to anniversary. do that in the evening, not during the first thing in the morning. Hey, man, she's young. They can go all day. <laughs> oh, well, the restaurant ain't I open mean, ce- yet. Celebration-wise, you, you people get your minds out of the street. Well, I was going to say, the restaurant ain't even open yet, unless you want to take her to McDonald's for breakfast. Sonic's open. Are they? Yeah, Sonic's good. Oh, He's good. Oh, hey, and, the, and, 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 and in the donut shop. Go get breakfast at La Loma. Uh-oh. Get them yeah. pancakes. La Loma would be a good place for me. I don't know if they're still opening early on Friday or not. That would be worthy of checking out. Well, I mean, I guess if you're going to do it all day, you might as well include oh. breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because I was thinking just dinner. Dinner don't start till after 5 anyway. So. Well, that, that depends on who you are. <laughs> or how early you go to bed. <laughs> Tiffany, what's going on over <laughs> at the extension office? Well, we're so excited. We have a winner of the Facebook Chicken and Pumpkin Contest. All right. So, yeah, this was where uh, the chickens carved the pumpkin, right? That's right. And and people had to send in their their, their pictures. Yes. All right. And we have two winners. The first place winner is Miss Ada Lindsay, and she did a fabulous job. Um, Woo-woo, yes. All of her pictures are posted on Facebook if anybody would be interested in looking at it. We're so proud of her. And we have a second place winner, Mr. Ledger Lampkin. He did Ledger a, Lampkin. Yes, he did a fabulous job too. His was creative, but the chickens really wiped out his picture, so <laughs> Well, you know, sometimes them chickens be hungry. Yes. Right, yeah. And they he, he was so creative, but we were so proud of him. And, you know, um, he has been really excelling in 4-H. Um, he's been showing at, uh, of course, here at the fair and the county fair. And then he went to district and to state. And we were just so proud he placed even at state. So we're, we're really proud of well, all of his accomplishments. Way to go. Yes. And um, we are looking forward to the boot bash Next oh, are you guys going to come out and play at the Boo Bash with us? Oh, yeah. We're setting up a little table there, and we'll have stuff not only for the kids, but for the parents also. But well, you need to make sure that, that y'all decorate. Well, we're not going to be as fancy as you, probably. Well, you know, no, we don't decorate. We just throw up a bunch of gifts and prizes and stuff like that, and then everybody says, oh, look, it's a radio station. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I mean, we, we, we don't get to... Uh, 
do all of the fun stuff. Um, but for the vendors out there, or I, don't, I can't really call y'all vendors for this, a- every one of the businesses that's setting up a booth. Okay. All right. There is a uh, uh, presentation and costume contest. Oh. Cool. And uh, PD is going to be giving away a grand prize for that as well. So you guys get out there. I don't know how they're going to do it. You call Dana. Dial 911 and ask for Dana. <laughs> All right. So I'll... Boobash, 4-H is going to be there. We will. And like I said, we'll have some information for the parents, just some parenting tips and uh, different types of uh, diet and healthy lifestyle treats and ideas for the parents also. And uh, it, it looks like uh, what, what you got happening at the extension? Well, of course, every first Tuesday, and November will be here before we know it, is a Master Gardeners Association meeting. And the second Tuesday at 6 p.m. is the Cattlemen's Association. And it's really growing in leaps and bounds. We're so proud of this uh, Cattlemen's Association. That's because they, they followed my advice. Oh. Yeah, I, I said beef, it's what's for dinner. <laughs> and they said, here, hold my steer. Oh, it is really amazing. How all the people are coming together just learning all the information at the Cattlemen's Association is so beneficial for anybody that is interested in raising cattle. Absolutely and it's never too late to get involved with any of these. Now I mean you might not be able to join the uh, club per se but you can still be involved without being a member. That's right they can come and just be a part of the the program we always have advanced uh, lessons for all the people that are there it's really wonderful all right and uh, what about new 4-H clubs well we're reaching out to Washita County right now to start a new sewing club and we've had some adults that were interested and we're looking for seasoned sewers to help uh, if they possibly could we're going to have a meeting it is called an interest meeting on November the 9th at 6 p.m. at the extensions office um, here on Mount Holly Road and we would love to have anybody there that would be interested in being a part of this 4-H club. So it, it, it's sewing. That's right that's what we're going. You know, like, like knit one pearl two? <laughs> we want to teach them uh, just the fundamentals of sewing Maybe hand sewing would be beneficial for anyone if the hem comes out of your clothes or something like that. But we also want to um, teach them to use a sewing machine and cut out a pattern eventually. We're just going to work on it a little bit at a time. And if we can get them involved, there's all kinds of things that we can do for the community. We're reaching out as much as we can. Yeah, now remember kids, it wasn't really that long ago when you didn't have a disposable lifestyle, all right? When a button popped off, you actually had to sew one back on instead of just throwing the shirt away and uh, going and buying a new one. Uh, the, these are very important life skills that you really ought to know. I mean, I, I, I know a little about sewing, so, you know, all of that neat stuff. It, it's really a lot of fun, too, especially when you create your own outfit and stuff like that. So I know the girls really love it, and guys, you will too. It's just a lot of fun. We have some grown, some adults, some men, that are really interested in learning themselves. Um, But unfortunately, we are just trying to reach out to the young people right now. And maybe eventually we could come up with a, a class for men that need to tidy up their techniques on sewing also. Uh, you know that that might be fun. You know, let's let's get the kids in there and get the kids trained, and then we can have the kids Teach. train the old fo- yeah. uh, uh, fogies. I think they would that would be interesting. Yes, and um, you know, youth today are very intelligent. It seems like they're just you know ten to one understanding some of the information, especially with computers. So imagine what they'll take off with this sewing techniques. Well, that, that's the other end of this spectrum, okay? You know, everybody's always complaining about the kids and the phones and the tablets and this, that, and the other thing. You know, oh, my God, they're too young for this. They're too young for that. Well, whose fault is it, really, okay, that they have gotten so good at that? 
because we can hand them a phone and they'll be quiet. Oh my. Yeah, this is how we got here. So let's hand them some. I, I'm not saying give the babies needles and threads, okay? I mean, don't, don't misconstrue. But I am saying let's go ahead and teach them a different way. Yes. All right? It doesn't have to be the computer way, and you don't have to be put out by spending time with your children. That's right. All right? It's a privilege. And trust me when I say later in life, you're going to wish you had. Hmm. You're going to wish you had. All right. Tiffany, you got anything else for us? Well, we're planning for the summer to have sewing camp, and it's going to have a very limited uh, amount of seating for this class. It's going to be uh, for a whole week, from what I'm understanding. We're just still, it's still in the making, but we are looking forward to teaching a beginner and an intermediate sewing camp, and we're even uh, looking into um, a skilled uh, cooking camp also for young people today and um, if you'd be interested if you just call and help us to know what we should look into we look forward to hearing from you sure and that number again uh 870-231-1160 231-1160 and and, you know she just touched on something that's near and dear to me because i i love food so you know i mean i'm i'm really into cooking Yes. You know, I mean, and I'm just saying, you know, that could be something that would be fun for the kids as well. And what we're trying to make sure is that it reaches a USDA approval. So cleanliness and temperature wise, everything. And if the young people can learn that, imagine where they can go. Well, there's a reason why we're paying 80 grand a year to work for McDonald's now. Okay, I'm just saying food ain't going nowhere. Everybody's going to always have to have food. So we need farmers, and we need McDonald's employees. All right? That, that's it in a nutshell. Yes. All right, Tiffany. Thank you so much for coming in. And thank you for having us. Absolutely. If you've got any questions for your extension office, again, you can always call them. Uh, they are there, what, 8 to uh, 5? 4.30. 8 to 4.30, Monday through Friday, 231-1160. All right. Thanks, Tiffany. Thank you. Dr. Bryce, mm-hmm. what, what are you doing over there? stuff yeah that's it that's what uh-huh nothing no i'm doing stuff i'm trying to get the weekend put together before the weekend starts uh-huh i gotta get out of here early uh-huh yeah anyway mm-hmm. oh and i gotta get you set up for the night too yeah because you ain't going nowhere i gotta get you all set up for a night oh baby i'm it's gonna be a fun night Woo. you know it's almost halloween is it? It is. It's almost Halloween. If you need a costume in a pinch, here are a couple of ideas using items you probably already have in your col- uh, closet. Are you ready? Bed sheets? It, well, <laughs> it, 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 I don't keep bed sheets in my closet. You know, you could always keep those in the laundry. You could cabinet, always but. go Roman. I mean, I'm just saying. You know, toga. Toga's always still. You know. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, and, and that one's easy. You just grab the sash off the curtains on your way out. Uh, no, you can go as a tourist. Look, just what, wander around and look lost? What, no, some combo of shorts, a brightly colored tacky shirt, socks with sandals, oh. a straw hat or visor, sunglasses, wrap a camera around you, and some sunscreen on your nose. Wait, are you trying to be uh, a like, nerd? Yeah, but, but, Tourist. But if you got a camera around your neck, wouldn't you be kind of outdated? Probably. Because you wouldn't use a camera around your neck, you'd use your phone. Sure. That'd be like walking around with a camcorder today. Yeah, but you, you you'd have to explain what you were every every time you uh, walked around if you didn't have the camera. Yeah, you see what I mean? I actually I'm actually seeing people now at weddings. Oh <laughs> yeah, using those uh, the new versions of the Polaroids. Oh okay. So this is like some kind of thing where they're like being nostalgic because they like taking the picture and the, they wait for the camera to go, you know, and then the thing, and then you have to wave it, and then you look at oh my god, oh my god, yes, isn't that cool? Yeah, and I'm like, man, that annoyed us yeah. when that was the modern technology. You know, <laughs> we now, thought it was neat for about the first ten minutes. Yeah, all right? and now and after that, it, God, will you hurry? Now up? these millennials and Gen Zs are, oh my God, it's so cool, it's so retro. I'm like, you, it's so annoying. You could go as a lumberjack. I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. You, you, you just grab a flannel shirt with some jeans and a beanie, right? Uh-huh. And, and, and you get bonus points if your kid has a toy axe laying and, around. And press wild flowers and 
dress up in women's clothing and hang out. And <laughs> that is Doc Bryce at YesRadioWorks.com. Hey, that's the Monty Python skit. You could go as a mummy. Yeah, see, that's that's that, that's about as cheap as doing the the Rome, uh, the uh, the toga party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just. <laughs> I was joking about the toga thing, and being a mummy is just bad. <laughs> You <laughs> didn't even try. Well, what's even worse is when you didn't even try and you do the mummy or the or the toga thing. Yeah. And you win first and prize. And you win first prize. Win yeah. first prize at the costume contest. Well, I wrapped a scarf around my neck. Here we go. All right. Yeah. You can go as a bank robber. All you need is black leggings, a uh, black and white striped shirt, a uh, little black mask, and some kind of loot bag. Right. And that's all fun and games until, you know, there's a call that goes out that somebody done robbed a bank. Uh. And they're looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you, you seem to fit the where, description. Where, where you been on out there, boy? <laughs> you can go as Bob Ross. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, button-down shirt, jeans, and you can make a uh, small paint palette out of cardboard. Yeah, but you got to be careful, though, because supposedly, which I did not know this until last year, did you know that the uh, having a, the afro hair, you know, the big poofy hair like Bob Ross had? Oh, don't tell me. Yeah, it's culture appropriation. Or culture. Culture appropriation you know i grew up in the 70s okay i know i was thinking the same thing it's like dude i know a lot of people who had a uh, big poofy hair whatever you want to call yeah, it white black red yeah. yellow i mean you know, everybody had an afro back because then. that was the style back then and now it's like supposedly inappropriate it's like wearing black faders it's like what generation are you Oh, you're a millennial. You're you're that generation that needs to find fault with everything. <laughs> yeah. Or you could go as Barbie. Dark brass, wouldn't you look cute in pink? I can wear pink though. It's one of the trending costumes this year. So you can get the look by dressing in anything pink with high heels or brightly colored workout clothes, tube socks, and rollerblades. Uh huh. What do you say? You know what? Bring back the Rolo Disco Girl. Yeah, and that that's another one of those things. You know, the, the if you're going to a Halloween party this weekend, there's one thing that you're guaranteed to see. A sexy costume, right? Oh, yeah. You know, it, it, there's always at least one, even if it's not the most appropriate of settings. And they could take any occupation. Oh, absolutely. And turn it into something sexy, like the sexy librarian. Well, most of us are fine with not-so-conservative costumes, Doc. According to a survey, 48% of Americans didn't mind if people are dressed provocatively for Halloween, and that includes men and women. The state most likely to dress in revealing Halloween costumes this year. Are you ready? Uh Uh-huh. Mississippi. Why does that not surprise me? Mississippi. Yeah, 40% of Mississippians say their costume leans on the risque side. Of course. South Dakota is the second spiciest, followed by Alabama, Arizona, Arkansas. Wait a minute, wait a minute. And South Carolina. Hold up, hold up, hold up. South Dakota. Yes. You do realize that's up north. Yes. Like way up there up north. Yes. At this time of year. Yes. And you're wearing a sexy outfit. Yes. How is that possible? Because it's cold outside. It's because I want to talk like this. Oh, my. (laughs) (laughs) In all of those states, at least one in five are showing a little skin. The state's less into revealing costumes this year. Colorado, Ohio, Wisconsin, (laughs) Michigan, Indiana, and Maine. Now, it's worth pointing out that there's a weather difference between those two groups, Mm -hmm. right, for the most part. The uh, most popular sexy costume, Mm -hmm. a sexy devil. (laughs) You sexy devil. Oh, come on. Other popular ones this year include a sexy Barbie, a sexy cat, a sexy Wednesday Adams, a sexy police officer, and a sexy bunny. (laughs) Now, for men, the most popular ones include sexy gladiators. Sexy Cowboys. And Hugh Hefner. Oh my God. Sexy sexy Cowboy? Yes, Sexy we, Cowboys. Are we yes. going broke back or something? I mean, one person is says. Is this where you wear the buttless chaps? That is Doc Bryce <laughs> at YesRadioWorks.com. Uh, they, they, one person says they're taking spiciness to another level by going as a sexy bottle of Sriracha sauce. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so there you That's go. Ridiculous. Well, howdy. Yeah. 
Howdy, partner. <laughs> you know, again, that is dark, bro. <laughs> I just don't we, understand. We try you... not to let the long hair fool us, okay? You know? I, I just don't understand how you pull off a sexy cowboy. No, well, I, I mean, you got to look at Tom Selleck, man. I mean, you know, that, that one of the sexiest men alive, right? I don't know. That's handsome. That's handsome. You know, right I mean, whatever, oh. okay? You know, yeah, I should be so lucky. Grow your mustache. And wear you some short shorts. I got a mustache. You ain't got no short shorts. And don't nobody want to see me in no short shorts. <laughs> I didn't even want to see you in regular shorts. There you go. <laughs> but I had to anyways. Yo, here, here's my top sexy <laughs> Halloween costumes that nobody wants to see. Are you ready? Uh, like sexy burn victim. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> or sexy Leonardo DiCaprio from Killers of the Flower Moon. I haven't seen Killers of the Flower Moon yet, so I don't know. Uh, sexy Walmart greeter. Ooh, ooh. yeah, that, that, okay. Or, 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 sexy Carney. Oh, yes. See, I, that, that'd be fun for a night. Sexy guy at the bus stop mumbling to himself while fr- frantically scratching his arms. You know, there's a lot of women out there who are looking for men that they can fix. Sexy Motel Six overnight desk clerk. Oh, that's like the naughty, ooh. naughty library librarian. One of, one of my favorites, though, is Flo, the sexy progressive lady. Uh-huh. Well, I love that one. Yeah. Or or sexy dog groomer. Uh-huh. Ooh. I have a dog. <laughs> sexy, unidentifiable creature that washes up on a beach and makes headlines for a day or two, but turns out to be a dolphin carcass. Ooh. That is one heck of a costume. <laughs> sexy beekeeper. Oh my gosh! There's this beekeeper that's uh, that's on uh, Facebook doing reels. Hey, wait, hey, hang on! Hey, I got one more. The number one sexy Halloween costume that nobody wants to see: sexy new house speaker Mike Johnson. Oh no! I'm just saying. Out. All right, Out. you want to talk beekeepers for a second? Yeah. Okay. So there's this girl, and she's a beekeeper, and she shows videos of her like moving bees around. Right. Sure. So, so like the bees are somewhere where they shouldn't be. Like in somebody's walls, house. Oh, okay. Gym, right. you know. yeah, I had something completely different going on in my head. <laughs> Places where they shouldn't be. So she goes and, and uh, gets them to come with her, and then she puts them in a mobile hive, and then she relocates them. And you know, I mean, she's doing good stuff, right? Right, yeah, sure, sure, sure. It's her voice when she does when she's talking about what she's doing. She has this really soft, whispery-like voice. Sultry and stuff? Yeah, and, and the way she says the bees, it's not like... I'm, I'm rounding up the bees. It's like, as I take and round up the bees. The bees. The bees. <laughs> and it's like, oh, my gosh. So then you're just hypnotized. Sting me, baby. Watching Sting her, me. Watching her, like, just her bare hands <laughs> scoop up these bees, get these bees to come to her, and then she relocates them. Or, or, or she'll just reach in to the, to the mass of bees. Right. And she'll just pick off the queen. Like, she'll just go in there, pick, and she's got the queen with her bare fingers. And then she puts the queen over at the, the mobile hive. And once she moves the queen, next thing you know, all the other bees are like, oh, hey, look, the hey. queen's over there now. <laughs> Time to go. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just her voice is so soft and soothing and me- mesmerizing that just listening to her story, I mean, you just get glued into watching her move bees. It's nothing exciing, but... <laughs> At the same time, Doc is excited. It's like listening okay. to Dan Rather read a phone book. I mean, you, you, it's not news, but you'd be really into it because you're like, <laughs> wow, man, he, his lips are moving. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it, they, she's just got like that kind of voice like Dan Rather has, if you remember Dan Rather. Oh, I remember Dan Rather. And it's like he could talk about anything. He could read a cookbook and you'd be totally into it. Yes, Dan. <laughs> and two eggs, are you sure? Yeah. I think you're living a little on the wild side there, Dad. <laughs> All right, guys and gals, it's the round table. You stay tuned in the 8 o'clock hour. We're going to go back over the list of happenings around South Arkansas, let you know where the kids can go trunk or treat and stuff today, and uh, then, uh, yeah, we'll we give you a bunch of other information. Yeah, we got information. Yeah, we got stuff and things. Yeah, so, uh, we, got the, we got the 411. And we're going to do Catfish Friday here in just a little bit, too. We got the catfish. So, you know, I mean, you, you're, you're going to want to stay tuned, all you're right? You're going to want to stay tuned. We got it all. It's the Round Table brought to you each and every weekday morning by our friends out at St. John's Place in Fort Ice 
and Washington Nursing and Rehab in Camden. I'm just Washington. saying, that radio station down the street, they yeah. got catfish? They, no, and they don't know what's going on in, in, in the neighborhood. And, and they ain't going to tell you this morning where all the hot spots are. No. Nah. Nah. You're going to have to wait till like, well, you're going to have to wait a long time because I don't think they ever go locally <laughs> live. <laughs> no, I don't think they do. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 uh, Washington Nursing and Rehab. Uh, uh, yeah, that place. Yeah, them. Um, they have got their uh, fall fest going on this afternoon from 4 to 6. Don't forget, hot dogs, bouncy houses, and trick-or-treating. Ooh, today? Yes, 4 to 6. Ooh. Yeah, I don't get to go because I will be on the road. Oh, well, that'd be a good time for me to take lunch. Yes. You can go get you a free hot dog. Oh, I like hot dogs. I like hot dogs. You know, it's radio food. Uh-huh. First Choice Family Care, 476 Hospital Drive in Camden, 870-800-9002. They're now open from 7 to 7 for all your medical needs. And that's where you'll go after you get your tummy ache. Yes. <laughs> Eating all them eat, hot dogs. Eat a bunch of them hot dogs, you're going to need our friends at First Choice Family Care. And then maybe even our friends at OCMC CDU, right? Because addiction's a terrible thing. Oh, yeah, especially yeah. when them hot dogs yeah, start, I'm hurting, telling you. start hurting up on your ovaries. You, you oh. get impacted, woman, it's going to be bad. Oh, my ovaries. 870-836-1289, all calls are confidential. Mitch Lowe's Body Shop. Accidents happen, so if you put it in the ditch, you better go Maria. at Mitch Lowe's Body Shop, 837-2560. She'll pick up. She will. Everybody's antiques down in El Dorado, corner of Bradley and West Hillsboro. They have got 120 booths and 31,000 square feet for you to explore. All sorts of fun stuff going on out at Everybody's Antiques. You can follow them on social media. They have always got something neat going on there as well. So, uh, yeah, and they've got all sorts of new stuff going on in the uh, showrooms. So get on out there and check them out. Uh, let's see. There is a, uh, nope, that was last week. All right. So I thought I missed it, but I didn't. Stories Floor and Carpet. 2004 Lorraine and El Dorado doing more than just flooring. Custom top, backsplash, countertop, bathrooms, and more. And they invite you to visualize. Visualize. You check out your new flooring project online at storiesfloor.com. Upload your photo into their visualizer. Visualize. See your options. Options. 870-862-9446. You got just a day or two left on this 12-month no-interest financing at Stories Floor and Carpet. Go to the website and see if you qualify. And finally, by Cabin Rural Health Services. They're on a mission to meet the health care needs of the folks in Calhoun, Clark, Bradley, Miller, Hempstead, Lafayette, Washtenaw, and Union Counties. See what Cabin can do for you by dialing 870-798-4299. Don't wait. Vaccinate. Cabin Rural Health. Mm-hmm. Doc, what you got? Uh, we're going to get some Glenn back. All right. We'll let you do that. We'll uh, do this. News Talk 92, KBEU Beard Sorry, can you clarify that last sentence for me? That means the news and talk of South Arkansas on News Talk 92, KBEU. Hello, South Arkansas. I'm Doc 